Hi, my friends. I'm playing rapid game, Italian game. I'm tempted to play D4. D4. Sacrifice a pawn. Let's do it. Let's do it. And see what happens. If he takes it with a knight, then I take his pawn. If he takes with a bishop, then it's a pawn sacrificed by me. If he takes with the pawn, again, it's not a big deal. It's not a pawn sacrifice. I just take back the pawn on uh, f pawn. He cannot defend the f pawn. This is a little a small trick that we take. And uh, it's not a piece sack because we simply re uh, regain the piece by queen check at h5. So I play this very often in blitz games, but in rapid games like this game, I've never played it because, you know, it's, uh, it's a complicated game and I didn't try it before. So, what can we do here? He should move the king away or push the pawn, doesn't matter. Both of them are fine. So, let me attack this pawn. It's not good to take that pawn. The main reason that I went to b4 is to retreat the queen at the right time. Taking the b pawn usually is dangerous, is a poison pawn. So, we shouldn't hope for that. Uh, I want to defend this pawn, but I also want to castle. Let me defend it for now. And then castle later. So what to do next? Give it check, win the... Okay, let me analyze the position. I can give a check at b3. If defense with the bishop, if I take the b7 pawn. Attacks mm, to my queen. No, he cannot attack my queen. Or he can. He can attack to my queen by playing knight a5. But then I just simply play queen mm, queen b4 and that's it. So let me give the check. Let's see what he's aiming for if he aims for to exchange queens i have no problem i will castle and then exchange queens otherwise otherwise it's fine so now i'm thinking about developing the knight finally and bringing out the bishop now i can play knight f3 it depends on the move of my opponent but i guess i can play knight f3 he cannot take my pawn because i pin the queen to the king and yeah rook e1 is winning the queen so he don't take it and then if we play bishop g4 i just simply play rook e1 or i can even play bishop g5 right i can play g bishop g5 if he plays bishop g4 i first develop my bishop right with threat and then I develop my rook. That's nice. He cannot take my knight and he cannot take my bishop. If he takes my knight, I take his queen. If he takes my bishop, again, I take his queen. He also cannot take the e pawn because if um, once he take it, I play rook e1 and winning his beautiful queen. Messer Ilya Alinarian is our opponent. So I want to kick this bishop. I don't like to see it. If he wants, he can win my knight. That's fine. But he shouldn't stay there for a long time. You know, this is a problem. Good, good boy. He listens to our words. Okay, what's next what to do next his king is in the center so i should open up the center play rook e1 push the pawn and then yeah which rook to e1 a rook or f rook i'm rooting for 
a rook because a rook is doing nothing f rook maybe later is important to defend this square so i just uh, immediately moved the queen away i didn't think about it because i knew that he attacks my queen with rook or knight or whatever pieces he doesn't like of course to see my queen in this square my lovely queen so it was obvious he's going to attack my queen but so I, before that i thought about it just i will slide away to be able to push the pawn to f4 and he's coming he's coming for my plans and and this is amazing pushing to f4 or maybe first attack to the rook and then push to f4 i guess that's better right push f4 because if i push f4 right away he could play knight f7 i guess he doesn't play knight f7 i guess he tries to be more aggressive like for example playing knight in, uh, d4 uh c4 sorry but uh, he could play f7 and that makes uh, my life a little bit difficult so let me attack this oh then if i attack the rook first and then push f4 then my bishop doesn't have any place to go currently if i push f4 i have some places to go maybe first i uh, maybe i don't need to rush to push f4 i just bring the uh, rook out and then i push towards the center yeah let's bring the rook out so i wanted to bring this rook out and then push f4 f5 yeah that's good that uh, sounds a plan right that sounds like a good plan mm -hmm. if he plays knight c4 is fine i just push to his knight to kick it away and not losing any pawn even though our attack sounds very promising but but still we shouldn't give up any pawn so he played that move that i didn't like it he went for a defensive move so i'm thinking about i'm thinking about just pushing forward pushing forward the pawn if he takes the pawn with the pawn i take with the rook and he takes with the knight i say check no it's not good i need that bishop so let me go in i keep it in i want to be as annoying as possible this is why i keep it in so let me bring the pawn forward and it's not easy to take that pawn because i simply take with the bishop and he cannot take back also it's not easy to take my a pawn he attack it to my uh, attack to my a pawn and to my bishop to both of them together but of course it's not easy to take the a pawn in this uh, difficult position it's very difficult position on the other hand if he doesn't take my pawn it's a very difficult position as well because i simply attack his queen i simply attack his queen and win something i believe right this check where can he go he should take with the queen wow wow what a man <laughs> you are the man so what should i do here at this position if i give a check with the queen escapes no it doesn't escape then i will win the knight Oh, wait a moment. No, I don't win the knight. It's very difficult position. So, I give the first check to defend my bishop, of course. Then I'm thinking bringing the rook in. I think he goes to b6.
So. Now I'm thinking about saying check winning is knight. Is it winning? So let's say this check. I'm winning the knight. Yeah, maybe I had some mating attack. I don't know. But. Oh, winning the knight, losing bishop. I could at least say check with bishop and then take that pawn. Ah, for the mistake, why I played so fast? Anyway, we are up a lot of material. Still, a uh, few months ago here, I played so quick. I could take the pawn with bishop simply and say check. You couldn't take back with the queen because I was winning the rook. Only after I took his pawn, because I saw that I will win several pawns, so I don't need to rush <laughs> he offers the roads uh, that's a ridiculous offer so let me attack the rook and attack the pawn of course he cannot take my pawn because if he takes i win his rook what a ridiculous offer wow <laughs> they're <all. laughs> come on just count the number of pawns I'm up. And look at the king box in the corner. So uh, I may go for exchanging everything and then win in the end game. Who knows? Let's see what is his reaction. He, how he wants to defend the D pawn. Because if a D pawn falls, everything falls, I believe. It's very difficult to defend it. Mm. Yeah, D1 pawn is one of the last hopes of my opponent. Okay. Now he's giving up the D pawn anyways. So I can bring the rook in and return to mate my opponent. Now I'm threatening rook e1 8 and mating my opponent of course you can see that what does he say of course no what do you say <laughs> what do you say <laughs> true come on man so i want to defend this pawn no this is not the most elegant way to defend it maybe i simply retreat the queen Yeah, maybe it's not bad actually mm, because I'm thinking about if I play queen uh, I push the pawn to c3 then he can play queen c2 anyways and attack my pawn so maybe I just retreat my queen and defend the pawn f pawn and then I defend the f pawn with rook And then I offer queen exchange. I'm happy with queen exchange because I have a passed h pawn and you know, maybe my pawn structure after that is not so elegant, but but still I have a passed pawn and it's a, it should be easy win and we have three minutes on clock. So no, we shouldn't have any difficulty with that. Let me attack it. Let me attack it. Let me offer exchange again. Or let me push the pawn. Whatever you prefer. Okay, I don't want to give you a single pawn, so I push this, I defend this, I push this, 
and make it queen. Yeah. Let me offer exchange again. I know you can take my uh, queen and then take the f pawn, but that's fine. We are up enough pawn. No way, my friend. No way I will let you enjoy this game. I don't want to let his rook to come in. So let's just push. Let's just push. If you didn't see, uh, if you don't know what is loose in a position, uh, here is how we create loose in a position. But uh, actually, I don't need to create loose in a position. I have more than enough to win this game. So, okay, finally he resigned. GG. Finally he resigned. Let me go quickly over the game. I think there wasn't much about the game. Uh, now what is called this opening actually? I don't know. Uh, a scotch game. Okay, a scotch gambit. So <laughs> I played it. So I played so often. I don't know the name. Yeah, this is a scotch gambit, guys. You learn with me. And it's not a giving up any piece because after that you win material back. And as you can see, engine says is equalized, like it's totally fine. But I believe uh, I like uh, white's queen activity. And yeah, the see the, the black cannot play careless. Black should strike in a center. Of course, uh, black king is in a bad position uh, in the return. White didn't develop pieces, so black should strike in the center, and black didn't do that, and then we managed to win the game. I think there wasn't any critical moment that I was uh, worse, but at this position, at this position, I was completely winning, and then at this moment, after this stupid move of my opponent, I could have simply take that pawn. If I you remember, I said this in the, in the video, and then after uh, such moves, we just can offer exchange and then this is was easy win but anyway this wasn't played and i played uh, immediately like bullet game but still it was a easy easy win and here i give up a pawn to get rid of his queen i didn't like to get checked f all the time so and yeah it was very easy win i hope you enjoyed and let's see whether we reach 2500 see you next time bye